I'm Freddie Bird. I'm the head chef here at the Lido in Bristol. Check on one tortilla, one courgette salad, please. Two checks are sitting there. Everything we prepare is cooked over either over charcoal or in the wood oven. You know, in restaurants, we're very lucky that we've got access to the most incredible ingredients. A lot of time spent sourcing what we cook, but um, try to muck around with it as little as possible. Not a pretentious, no smears, no foams, very relaxed style of cooking, but stay very true to sort of classic cuisine. I draw my inspiration, if you like, from the Middle East, Lebanon, Turkey, North Africa, uh, and also very much Spain and Portugal. Cooking over fire, you're there, you get the smell, you get the sounds, you get the heat, you get the feel. I can't think I'd cook any other way. So this is my kitchen, a far cry from the Lido. Um, no wood oven, sadly, uh, but all the usual bits and bobs, gadgets and gizmos, gas stove and a nice big open space where the kids could see us cook and where we can all hang out together as a family. Today, I'm going to cook ourselves a nice uh, sort of fish stew. Got some mussels, got a bit of hake in there, got some tomatoes, a bit of leftover alioli, chuck it all together, a bit of wild oregano. Um, big thing in the middle of the table, everyone can tuck in, maybe get my boy to eat a little bit. I'm not sure, let's see what happens. <laughs> Food-wise, you know, I'm still keen to, uh, to, to cook. I have my days where I'm also very happy to put my feet up and order a pizza. Yeah, a little less sort of fussy when I get home, but still great ingredients. So just wild oregano, slightly dried, but it's just got a lovely, just such a perfumed and peppery smell and flavour. Lovely, really lovely. And the sauce is just from the tomatoes. That's a beautiful moment, I love that. And it's a smell as well, you just get hit with the oregano and the garlic. I'm going to put just a little splash of white wine as well. That'll boil off all the booze and that. Just a little splash, just to make it a bit saucier. And then I'll chuck the mussels into there. But the smell from that is... That's what it's all about. There we go. That'll do it, it's probably enough. So we're going to chuck a few of those chickpeas in as well. Couple of nice prawns in there just to, to make it a bit more exciting. But you've also got delicious, cheap uh, mussels, chickpeas to bulk it up, um, hake, you can use cod, you can use coli, you can use any cheap white fish. Um, the sauce is going to give all the flavour, the fish is going to suck it all up. That's, you know, that's, this is how you make nice, cheap ingredients taste great. It's bags of flavour in your sauce, pack that, you know, it really packs a punch. That looks banging, really lovely, definitely. I think they're going to enjoy that.